Hello and welcome to studiodesigns.com video tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you something in Flash and I'll be showing you a simple animation using shape tweening. So make sure you click on Action Script 2 to create a new document. And once you have your stage open, this is your stage in Flash, and we'll be using a couple of layers here. So let's create an oval. I'll be creating a circle animation so with my oval tool selected let's give a stroke let's say around let's give it black and let's give the stroke somewhere around three pixels i'll be using a light green for the fill now holding my shift key i'm going to draw a perfect circle here you can see okay once you've done that in your stage make sure you have done it in your layer one in the first frame using a selection tool make sure your selection tool is selected I'm going to first convert this to a movie clip so just highlight the shape you just created here and hit on F8 or you could simply go to modify convert symbol and let's call this circle make sure the type is set to movie clip and your registration point should be right in between press on ok once you've converted that you can see in your properties panel here you have instance of circle which is a movie clip if you check in your libraries you can see that we have a circle movie clip once you have done that let's double click on this shape here to get in the movie clip once you're in let's let's make a new layer and we'll call this as actions so that you can keep our code in this layer here once you've done that let's rename this one to something like circle once you've done that, let's convert this again to another movie clip. So I'll be calling this animation and make sure it's set to a movie clip again. Press on OK. And once you've done that, let's get in this movie clip again and make the animation. So I'm going to double click. And now you can see we have a nested symbols here, which is the same movie clip we're using, which is in the scene we have a circle movie clip. And in the circle movie clip, we have another, which is animation movie clip, which we are in right now. And you'll notice that every movie clip has its own timeline with different layers you can add. So I'm going to animate this. Let's say right click on the first frame since we're meddling with the shape. You can go back to your properties panel to know that it's a shape, not a movie clip or a button or any graphic symbol. So once that's done, let's right click on the first frame and click on create shape tween. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the icon here is converted to a green color and let's check our frames per second since our frames per second is 24 frames let's make this around somewhere around 30 and I'm going to hit F6 on 15 so I get somewhere around 0.5 seconds till it reaches here from first frame to 15th frame and what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to select the whole thing with my selection tool using my transform tool or you could just press in Q for the shortcut make sure you have your stroke and your fill selected I'm going to hold in shift and just drag in since I wanted to go right in between so I'm going to hold shift and alt to drag it straight make it really small there I'm using my zoom magnifying tool I'm going to just zoom in here as much as I can again hit the Q for the shortcut to select your free transform tool holding shift alt and drag straight in and you can see that this is really small so Let's zoom back here and see what we have. Let's click on the top where you see the red icon here. Let's click on this player here and just drag right away so you see that it animates and goes away. Right small. And now let's just zoom in this. So I basically want to make our fill just like disappear. So I'm going to select the fill. It's going to be really hard there to select. So. What I'm going to do is just select the whole thing so you get your fill selected. Okay, you could do it that way using a selection tool. Make sure you have a selection tool selected. And we'll go back to the fill and I'm going to load the opacity of this somewhere around let's say some 6%. Be fine. And let's zoom back here again and let's check what we have. You can see that it animates. Okay, once we have that, let's position this here. I'm going to go one movie clip back, which is right back to the animation now you can see our circle is right here which is going to be animated if you test let's hit control enter to test our movie or you could click on window 
sorry that's control test movie this scene once you've done that you see that's animating it's way somewhere in the corner so let's come back again here and position this control enter to test the movie you can see that it's animating since we didn't have had any stop so it's repeatedly animating so let's get in this again and let's get again in this and we'll add a stop right here in this 15th frame so creating a new layer I'm going to call this actions and let's call this ANI for animations make sure you click on your 15th frame of your actions layer and hit on F6 to create a new keyframe or you could simply right click insert a keyframe make sure you insert a keyframe because if you have just a frame right here and if you had inserted your stop actions it would go right on the first frame and your animation will not really animate so it would stop right in the first frame so make sure you have your F6 at this point that's a keyframe and hit on F9 or you could simply click on this frame right here and click this icon which opens up your actions panel from the properties the one click on that and we have our actions open once you've done that let's type in stop or you could use a shortcut which is escape st make sure you do that at not a little time so you just you press an escape key and release it then you press your st so basically i'll be usually typing the stop code since it's really simple just need a stop two brackets here opening and a closing bracket and a semicolon so once you've done that let's close the actions panel now you see a small a with an like an icon on this 15th frame which tells you that there's a code on that point so now if you test your movie control enter to test your movie you see that it animates and stops doesn't really animate more and you can see a dot there so if you really want that to disappear you need to remove the stroke what you need to do is let's say we make that disappear and the 15th frame I'm going to highlight this thing again and I'm going to reduce the alpha for the stroke to somewhere around 4% and now let's test our movie you can see where it's gone it's really visible but somewhere around there but it's really not it's hard to see so once you've done that now let's make a cool animation using this animation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the movie clip ash animation so go back to the circle since we have our circle now wherever you make copies of this circle is going to animate as many copies as you make so let's make a copy control C to copy and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to paste it right in place so control shift V to paste it right on place make sure you have a new layer don't by mistake paste it right in your circle so I'm going to call this 2 I'm going to call this 1 and once you've done that I'm going to make let's see two more layers let's add another layer and I'm going to highlight both these layers to highlight the layers the frames here you need to click and drag down don't click and then try to click and drag because you're going to drag the frame here so since I've already clicked on the top I'm going to go from downward so I'm going to click on this frame go straight up and then release once you've done that hold on your alt key to make a copy of your frame keep on your alt key hold and just drag once up you see a plus appears right next to the arrow so it's making a copy once you release you see we have a copy of the same and the same position and it even changed the name of the layer here so let's rename that after a second so once you make a copy again just select one frame since I need one and that's one two let's call this three this one's four and this one's five okay once you've done that now since you know I'm gonna lock the actions here and since you know all are in the same position so if I just highlight you see all the layers here are selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave one in its place so I'm going to lock in one and I'm going to lock in three four and five so I have two selected here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this second layer here and I'm going to just move it once on the left so holding my shift key I'm going to press the left arrow so you see that once happened and let's do that for the third which is one two once you do that let's do for the fourth which is one two three and there we go for the fifth one two three four okay. once you've done that you see this 